I just got the new Insta360 X4, the 8K360 action camera that you can take underwater. Let's dive in. In this video, we're gonna do an unboxing of all the things you need to take 360 video underwater. We got the unit, the X4, brand new X4. We got the invisible dive case, and then we have two selfie sticks here as well. The invisible selfie stick and the extended three meter uh, long selfie stick. All right, first off, let's take a look at the box itself. On the front here, we got, this is optional if you wanna get that, but you need one if you don't have it. An Insta360 memory card, or just a memory card that works for action cameras. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. Let me just get some of the sticks up. There we go. This is the unit. See here. Seems a bit larger than the X3. We got the two lenses. Let's take off this. I can get a hold of this. Protective plastic. Other side, big screen. On the sides you have on on off buttons, uh, uh, an extra toggle button and we have buttons down here. Then here we have battery. I don't think you ever need to take that one out unless you have an extra battery, but often you don't because you just charge it up here with USB-C cable. All right, that's the camera. Again, remember this is an 8K camera. Let's just take a look at, because we got the X3 as well here. Look at the size difference. This is a standard, the standard is 360 4K camera, the X3, and now we have the X4 in 8K version. Look at the size here. It's taller, it's a bit thicker as well, but not by a lot. So comparing this to my hand, uh, you know, this fits quite well. We're gonna talk about the selfie sticks as well, what you can do with them in a second. Now let's just take a look at what's inside the box when you're getting just the unit itself. So you have a small extra buck here. Um, a lot of things you can find out as well by scanning the, this QR code and then downloading the app. Uh, a lot of the editing from, uh, from the video, so this is done on a really nice app from Tree, uh, Insta360. Okay, in this box, there's a small bag here, and then there's a uh, small box. Let's, yeah, let's take a look at this. This is a protective case. Inside, we have the USB-C charger. We have an extra cloth for wiping the lenses. That's nice as well. And then we have this protective case, really good when you're traveling with your um, Insta360. Put it in there so you don't scratch the unit. Put that down here. And here we also have manuals and stuff. We'll leave that there. The app will, will tell you a lot of how to use it as well. A lot of great tutorials on these cameras. And here we have some lens guards that you can stick on the camera. Let me just show you how you do that. So this one will protect the lenses. I'm speaking uh, uh, based on, on really bad experiences. Do remember to put these on. First time using the X3, uh, I did a small scratch on the lens and you can't replace those, but the lens guards are easy to replace. So remember to put these on. When you do that, there's two lens guards, one for the lens. Of course, there's a small instructions on how you do the settings when you have this on because the stitching do need to be a bit different. All right, that was the unit itself. Now let's see how we make this one into a underwater camera. So the unit itself is waterproof down to 10 meters, 33 feet. That works, I've tested that. Uh, it is waterproof. I've done it with action water sports like e-falling, falling in this one or the X3 without a housing works perfectly. If you wanna go diving, you wanna go deeper, you get the invisible dive case. This one will take the camera down to 50 meters, 164 feet and make this one into an actual underwater camera. So what do you get in the box here? We got the housing itself. This is a big housing. Buckles on each side to open up the case. It's nice and sturdy one. We get here. In here you have small um, placements for uh, anti-fog units you can put inside here so the lenses doesn't fog up. And you can put the unit in here Buttons turning upwards towards these. Let's close it up. It's super simple. Anyone can do it. 
before you put it in, you put it into uh, a underwater casing mode, which means it locks the screen and locks the front buttons, but you, you then use the top buttons here. One to turn on and off and change modes by holding it in, and then one to do uh, to start the filming, stop the filming, or take the photo. We have a small box here as well with extra accessories for the underwater housing. That includes a protective bag. Nice to have, remember to put it in. We've got the small anti-fog batches here you can put in. Um, extra, don't even know what these are for, stickers. Some tools that you can use, really nice. And then we have the action camera mounts down here. We've got an extra cloth for cleaning up. So you mount this one, the action camera mount there here. And, oh, oh wrong screw. Like that. And I'm doing this to get to the next point because what's really cool about, let's just put it here on the car so we don't scratch it up. The Insta360 is the invisible action selfie stick. So let's get these ones out. So this stick extends to somewhat one meter. Attaches down here. And invisible in terms of once you start filming, filming yourself you can't see the selfie stick. So it kind of looks like you are another person filming this. It works like a drone flying beside you or someone else standing beside you filming in on you. So you can make this really nice third person view that works really well underwater with the housing on. And it works well on land or on a paddleboard or on a jet ski or anything like that. Now they made an extended edition selfie stick. So this one goes up to three meters. Look at the size of this. This one, again, attaches like this. You screw it on, easy. And then you extend it. So the first here it says 120 centimeters, like that. And then you extend it to 240. Oh, like that. I'm gonna do it backwards so you can see how long this actually is. And then all the way to three meters. This is quite heavy actually to hold up. I think you need two hands holding this one up. Look at that, how far it extends. And again, this is invisible, which means on the video, when you're doing this, you can't see the actual selfie stick. You can only see yourself holding something, but you can't see anything being held up. With the Insta X3, when we were testing, I tried to extend a few of these on its own, making it up to about this size, and it works. It looks like there's a drone flying above you, um, following you perfectly. And you can do this now with the Insta360 X for just in 8K resolutions, which makes this extension even better because it can zoom in. So this was what's in the package when you're buying it for the underwater use. There's plenty of other accessories you can take a look at as well for a lot of other things, but for this and for underwater and water sports, the uh, dive case and a selfie stick and then the X4 is a perfect unit. Brand new, we haven't been out testing it. We've tested and reviewed the X3 with the invisible dive case and I can say that you can't see the stitching or anything. Uh, I've been promised by Insta360 that they, this is also invisible, but we're gonna go out diving this weekend and we're gonna test it out and I'm gonna do another follow-up and in-depth review of the Insta360 X4. So follow this channel, subscribe to see the next video or go into divein.com where you can read full in their underwater camera reviews as well. I'm Tom from Divein and this is the Insta360 X4 with the invisible dive casing on.